no good. And a game rebound with Hannah and Junkin both around Williams. McIntosh out of there. He'll speed it to first. Burn! And there he is. Up and under, and the lay-in goes. That's that extra bit of speed, that extra. Washington, this is an extended play in the opening rotation as Winter knocks down the jumper from the free throw line. This is Williams to Washington. Washington navigating through the lane, dumped down, and Urich able to finish. Matei Urich with his first field goal. See Chris Wooten waiting at the scores table. He'll drive in, sends it to Martin. Martin in the corner, driving right side the up and under good. Ooh, that is tough. I think he gets it to McIntosh. McIntosh on Williams. He'll drive him up downstairs, up top. Hannah Prince downstairs and Graham on the slam. Boy, Leak Martin will trigger. Gets it into Brown. Brown crossing the timeline. He'll pitch to Washington. Catch and shoot and good. And Drexel will end the half on the Washington three. His 6'10 at the head of the offense. This is Winter. Winter driving baseline left side. Got through, and the reverse scoop will go. And head coach Mike Trogge will take the state. Yeah, there's a place named Fog Allen Fieldhouse that they tell me is really popular this time of year. McIntosh down the lane. The up and under of the Butler is good. Great. It's behind the eight ball a little bit offensively. Burford to McIntosh. Mack for the jumper. Good. And the personal. So a chance moves it away to Washington. Washington the handoff right back to Bell. Bell takes it down the lane and Graham pins it. Boy, that's Michael's second get out of here in the most recent memory. So following that exchange, Burford to McIntyre. Boy, Matt turned around. Cam Winter right there. Burford for the three. Darius Burford knocks down the triple. 16. Drexel leads by 19, winds up winning by that 11-point halftime margin.